Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Rugby World Cup 2007 as a part of my Match Day Monday series. Today we have France in the semi-final of the World Cup. So let's see if we win the semi-final and go through to play either the Springboks or the All Blacks in the final. Let's get into it. Hello, I'm Ian Robertson and welcome to today's World Championship semi-final game. Do our usual kick it to the corner and chase it down. Call Tate. Is the kick. Heyman. Oh no, that is not a good start. Oh, he steps out of bounds. We're lucky there. That could have been a try early on. Bursting three players. There's Tate almost through. They turn the ball over. Damn it. Oh, go on. There we go. Give it to the forwards. There's Shaw. And Hill in for the try after just eight minutes. And it's going to be good. It's a 7 nothing lead that we take against the hosts. Uh, Wilkinson on the ball. Wasn't expecting that. Yes, Noon. Oh, that's what you'd love to see. Tate. Can't quite, can't quite get the pass off to beat the fullback at the last. That's a high tackle. Thank you. So what sanctions are you going to have? Yellow card? Nothing. I bet he does another one though and then he'll get sent off. Take it quick. Let's go boys. Let's get into the score. In for another score, should I say? Why well, can't I speak? One last push, boys. Yep, take it out. <laughs> That's what I wanted before. That's what I wanted a few episodes back when uh, Dawson, when I accidentally pressed the wrong button and Dawson just booted it away. Should be good. And then swings back in to add the points. 14 nothing. Quite early on, this has been what felt like it was going to be a game a lot like the Australia game. But uh, turns out this one's been somewhat easier for us. Oh, Gordon Robinson. Jamie Noon's a beast. Oh. Josh Lucy is unable to prevent the ball from being. Oh, great, great tackle from Rickley. Yeah, Lucy was unable to prevent the turnover there. It's unlucky. Oh, Quato, where were you going outside? He was your man. Oh, didn't realise we had won the ball back there. Go on. Let's try and just put some points between us. Wilkinson. It should be good. It is. Great tackle. And they've set up the rock, and here come the rest of the pack. Ready? Well, let's go. The pass. Oh no! Beep, beep. Oh shit! Oh. I thought we'd stopped him short, but we hadn't, and France get the score. I try a set play, and it just doesn't work. And that makes it 17 to 7, and that gives France a way back into this game. Come on, Johnny. The, the lead is ten points. <coughs> He's straight through. Hey, hello. <coughs> Hang on. Again, good cover. Step, that's make him step out of bounds, and that's half time. So we're quite lucky there. So, 17-7's the lead, and let's see if we can uh, extend that and get ourselves into the World Cup final. So already, after two games in this knockout stage. That should be through for the for the score. And Jamie Noon is through and in for a score. You love to see it. Having, having played South Africa already, so could mean that we end up a rematch in the final and they're gonna be mad that they lost twenty seven nothing. I expect a much tougher game 
in the final itself. Go on, Lawrence, get in there. They got no one covering the outside. Go. That is a breakaway try. Mark Cueto in for a try. They left that short side free and no one caught Mark Cueto there. It's up and good. And, uh, yeah. That should put the should put the game beyond all doubt, really. Thirty-one to seven. It's a twenty-four point lead. There's Jamie Noon past the fullback again. And it's gonna be another try. Wow, this game has been turned on its head. And it is pushing hard. Throws it out. Robinson. Robinson through the gap. Can't break the tackle of the uh, fullback. Moon. That's a great little play from Noon. Tate is hit hard. High and hard. That's got to be a red card. That's the fullback there. A few heated words there. There was some well. discipline there. They'll need to calm down a bit. Again, no. Uh, no punishment for the high tackle. It looks to be a perfect kick. And it swings just enough in the wind to go through. Johnny Wilkinson making sure that we reach the final. They stop us. Wilkinson and Sheridan was it taking the brunt of the ball there again a good drive from the fall England are playing the advantage long as Tate drops it off to Lucy and he's going to go in for a try that makes it 46 to 7 this time has the wind behind him and it's up and good it's away oh good run he slips through Oh, of course. Okay, Yashvili. Once again, good defence. And the rucks formed, and here come the rest of the forwards. Excellent there we go. turnover from the ruck. Hill. He didn't look before he oh, passed. Oh, no. Yashvili, great pass. Loose pass there. What? Let's have another look at that one. Okay, now I kind of get it, yeah. We tackled him early. A seven on seven hate crime there. Jesus. Good rock. They keep possession. The lead is over 40 points. We tackled him early, didn't we? Lucy's on his way. Oh. And we're getting penalised. Let's see what happens if we fucking. Yeah, that's right. I had decided to high attack with somebody that time. What's he going to do do to me here? Nothing. Okay, so this referee is a bit lenient. Right, Wilkinson getting that pocket. Very good run. They mop the ball up. The clearance made. And there we have it. 48 to seven winners in the semi-final of the World Cup. That was far easier than what Australia were. But we now go on to the final, which I would expect to be a much tougher game than what we've had leading up to this point. So that is going to be it for this episode of Rugby World Cup 2007. So next week we will have a rematch against South Africa in the final of the World Cup. It's almost an exact replica of what happened in the tournament in 2007. It was England versus South Africa in the final there. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Rugby World Cup 2007, then please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.